Shame at Tarot, general reading, rules, universe may not resonate. Um, this is for a Virgo. Crying and demanding uh, a psyche evaluation. Uh, you're psychotic. What you were doing is not what people do on a normal scale. You're raging jealous over somebody you don't know. Somebody who's not a celebrity. Somebody who is not in public eye. Um, just raging jealous. Everybody else is dealing with them coming to terms with they sold their feminine energy or their masculine energy and dealing with, you know, dealing with what they were given. Okay, you've been giving a, a, that just like everybody. You've been given um, a chance after 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 chance for giving, for giving, for giving, for giving, for giving. You are getting what you can use, and that is all. You get what you get. Okay? Um, you premeditated all this and then you follow through with the acts. Okay? Uh, I don't have to explain crazy people's be habits to you because you're not in the practice and field of psychology. You're not a clinical psychologist. You're not a clinical nurse. You're nothing. You have no titles, no nothing, no schooling, no nothing. You don't get special privileges, okay? You get those when you complete your degrees and your assignments, which you do not do. Anybody has access to a book and can read definitions, okay? You don't um, take it to the next level, okay? So you don't get any special privileges, And still, even after two years later, you're still watching this person, stalking them, spying on them for no reason at all. And you still, even after that, you still had the nerve to try and hex and curse them again in masculine and feminine energy. And act like you're talking to somebody when the only person you're talking to is yourself. Okay? That's not split personality. Stop trying to self-diagnose yourself. You have no experience in that field or training or schooling, nothing. No college degree, no college class, no high school class, nothing. Okay? You can't just... I don't have to explain things to you on a college level when you're elementary level. Okay? You did that. You had the chance and opportunity to go to school like everybody else. Okay? Somebody came to you that the number that you picked out of your head, the $7,500 and put a price on somebody's head and waved it in people's face to get into somebody's energy, that came from somewhere, okay? You have no training as a secretary, no office trait, nothing, nothing. So if you don't open up and tell me what's going on, we're going to do it for you, Okay. You go to jail. You do psychotic things like that. You go to jail. People, paparazzis who take it to the floor that got to get this close into a, a celebrity's face, they go to jail. People that climb over fences or um, peeping in their windows, stuff like that, climbing trees, they go to jail. You literally were going through somebody's friendship list from the beginning to the end. And making an assumption that they were talking or sleeping or had a past with them. All those people. You know how many people they've talked to that have come up the right way too? The first one, when you first opened the page, one person had enough guts to hit on me. Um, and he went back to his ex because he thought he was going to get out of paying child support by going back to her. So he dumped me and he lost both of us and now this new person two three years later i've had this page okay so where do you get this where do you get that making up an assumption falsifying information making up an assumption that somebody is sleeping with that many people talking to that many people um dated them slept with i mean that is just ferocious okay
I mean, do you have a friend that you compare yourself to that goes and dates all the, that many people and has slept with that? I mean, that's crazy. You would have HIV if you slept with that many people. You'd be dead. Okay? and Or carriers for STDs. I've explained that to you people multiple amounts of times in your messages and a lot of the girls' messages. Okay? And you still yet want to make these false assumptions about people. What else here? I mean, if your friend is sleeping with that many people, or you, or talking to that many people, you have absolutely no standards for yourself. Okay? Unbelievable. Somebody came to you and gave you a price and did that, okay? You don't work for anybody. You were dumped by your ex-boyfriend. You took the dogs, ran home to mommy and daddy's, and then they got on you for not bettering yourself. And now you're living in a, what, a slump um, efficiency with a shared bathroom. Doing what you do, making a profit on it, is Ansel on yes or coming after you. Okay? Virgo, please. Five of coins. Yes, Dom facing bankruptcy. We already know that. Um, oh, your rent is $300 a month living in there with a shared bathroom. Okay. With bugs and rodents. <sighs> Let's see here. Well, if you're doing this to complete strangers, I could imagine what it's like dating you. Okay, people are going to use you. Okay, um, people are going to reject you. That's a normal thing in life that you start learning in like junior high school. You have a crush on somebody and they choose somebody else. You go to a dance in junior high school and you want to dance with somebody and they choose somebody else. That's rejection. You start dealing with that in seventh, eighth grade. Okay. Mad about a contract. Because something's not moving forward for you. A contract is not moving forward to you. Well, what does that mean to you? Something about the future. Trying to heal your future. Well, you need to heal now. There's your, you don't have a future right now because you're broken here in the in the present. Okay, so stop worrying about the future. Okay, hmm. This is what you've created for yourself. That's what you get. This is what you can afford. You can afford your three hundred dollar efficiency, um, in an area where you can walk. Okay, you don't need a car. I've already explained all this to you. You don't have a job you need to get back and forth to. You don't have kids. Your parents aren't sick and dying. You don't need a car. <sighs> you never invested in a car. You had one to show off, okay? And how are you allowed to have the dog? Oh, they split up the dogs, okay? Hmm. Yeah, you think someone's going to come in and fix your bankruptcy, but they're not. So what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Huh, you're looking at what? This coin here. No ideas, nothing in, nothing out. Still no full-time job. You could be working two or three jobs. You could be working a full-time job, doing an overnight once a week, helping out in... Um, I'm keeping daycare for you. They need daycare ladies where you're at, maybe to open or close. Okay, you could do that. Or a personal care home and do an overnight shift. You could make a lot of money doing those overnight shifts. Some places are paying like $25 an hour to do an overnight shift. One day a week, overnight shift, making $25 an hour. I mean, come on now, girl. Um, what are you looking at? Everything depreciates in value. 
You know, people buy, I was just thinking about this with the housing market. People buy a refrigerator or the washer and dryer when they were on the market at $5,000. Well, guess what? They're not worth that anymore. And every year it depreciates. So, <sighs> winning at all costs. Winning what? What is this trophy? Hmm? Winning what? Eight of Cups. Yeah, you're just at a roadblock because you can't see the future because you have to fix now. You don't have a future right now, okay? Yeah, you're just keep now you're trying to manifest in your Queen of Wands to get everything to come and be attracted to you. And that's just not how that works. That's, that's just not how you make, I mean, you can't make a refrigerator attracted to you. You can't make a coin attracted to you because it's not real. It's not alive. Once you pick something, it dies. Once you chisel a rock out of the ground, it's dead. Moving forward to take a leap of faith. Well, where, where are you going? You're going to go right back into the same cycle. You're going to jump on your wheel that's broken. It's going to bring you right back up to the cliff, okay? That's the truth. We're going to stop here. And Bronner, you're trying to manifest an emperor. Okay. Well, no. All right.